What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a list of my favorite classes from Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Now, just a couple quick things right off the bat. This is just a list of my favorite classes, it is in no particular order. I'll give kind of a brief description of each one of course, but I do have videos on all the class mechanics for literally all of them, if you're more interested in how they work. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now first up we have the Inquisitor. Now I like Inquisitors largely for their class fantasy, but also some of their mechanics of course, specifically their spell casting as well as their bane ability. But the big thing for me here is class fantasy. Now, typically speaking, I'm not wild about uh, holy warrior types, and I like Inquisitors because it's kind of a unique spin on that that makes it much more interesting. Inquisitors largely serve as like divine bounty hunters almost, and while they do of course serve a deity, they don't necessarily have to even get along with that deity, which I always thought was funny. We actually see examples of that in uh, Kingmaker. And overall, it just turns the notion of this holy warrior trope into something I think that's a little more interesting just across the board and because of that I really enjoy them. So next up we have the kineticist. Kineticists are really cool simply because they operate so vastly different than all of the other classes. So kineticists use elemental energy and they turn that into blasts to attack primarily and they do that in a variety of ways. And there's all types of blasts and fusions. They operate off this mechanic called burn. And while kineticists are a very hard to master class, and I wouldn't use the term skill exactly, but they require a lot more knowledge to play effectively. For instance, knowing which of your blasts are ranged attacks versus ranged touch attacks is important. And they can deal incredible damage if you know what you're doing with one. And moreover, while they are a bit of a glass cannon to balance them out, they just, again, operate so very differently than any other class. They have a lot of unique mechanics that you don't see anywhere else because a lot of classes will actually have elements stripped out of them and then, you know, put into other hybrid classes that you kind of see here and there, but you don't see that happen with the kineticist. They kind of get their own thing, and it's just very unique, and I enjoy it. Now, next up, we have the Ranger. The Ranger, I enjoy just because it's a classic. You know, it's just that class fantasy of being someone skilled in traversal or just, you know, being out in the world. You got your animal companion beside you. Kind of gives off that vibe of mastering the wilderness in some way, in my opinion. Mechanically, I think it's pretty solid. No real complaints or you know, like super big positives outside like the Animal Companion I'm a big fan of. More than anything, I just like the concept of the class. Next up, we have the Blood Rager. Blood Ragers are a mix of Barbarian and Sorcerer, and this is one of the few hybrid classes where I think the result is much more interesting than both of the bases. So if you're unaware in uh, Pathfinder, a lot of times what you'll see is, I call them hybrid classes, I don't remember if there's a more specific term than that, but basically for new classes, a lot of times what Paizo does is take elements from other classes and just combine them, which is how you get things like the War Priest and many others. But the Blood Rager, I think, is one where the result is genuinely more unique than I think its parent classes. Because you're a sort of barbarian, of course, still, so you get the Blood Rage versus the regular rage, but it is in fact basically functionally the same thing. And then on top of that, instead of like the rage powers and stuff, in most cases that gets replaced with certain bloodline type powers, combined with a tiny bit of spell casting, it overall just makes for a very unique class, at least as far as the hybrids go. Combine that with all the options that come with getting to choose a bloodline and you can make a very unique character as a blood rager where even within that class you can pick just a variety of choices that will make each Blood Rager very distinct from another, for instance. And that brings us to our last class. For me, this is the Magus, and that is simply because I'm a fan of Gish characters. So if you're unaware, Gish basically means a character that is as good at melee as they are spellcasting. Now, I will say Magus is the only class on this list where one of the archetypes is more my favorite than anything else about the class, and that is the Sword Saint. And that is simply because the archetype of the Sword Saint is just very flavorful. It allows you to pick a chosen weapon, that is, you know, the thing you're the saint of, so to speak, and you become very proficient with it. It uses uh, your intelligence modifier to adjust a bunch of things, as well as your armor and melee combat, that kind of thing, or your AC, rather. 
You still get your mega spell casting. This archetype stacks well with other classes if you want to do multi-class. And while the Magus by itself is a really cool class, I will say for this one in particular, I really love the archetype of Sword Saint in particular. But with that out of the way, guys, there you go. There's a list of my five favorite classes from the upcoming Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Moreover, on that note, if you are looking for more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous content, I have a playlist on the channel that has just tons of videos for it, including all the class mechanics. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.